Hello pretties, this video is all about, you guessed it, the clean edit portrait workflow from Pretty Presets. We are super excited about this new collection and how amazing it is when working on your images to create all kinds of beautiful clean edits that work phenomenally on images all across the board. So not only are we just going to brag about this collection, of course we're going to dig in and show you what it can really do. So we're going to be editing a few images. I know, lots of fun, we know. So you'll see that I already have the pretty clean edit portrait workflow open. We're going to scroll down and notice that it also comes with a toolkit that easily allows you to adjust the contrast, exposure, noise, sharpen, add a soft center light, a vignette, tone your highlights and shadows, um, the color toning, you have your white balance all at your fingertips, guys. Now let's take a look back up top here at the clean edit portrait workflow. So we have our handy dandy instructions. Before you jump in and start editing, let's read step one. You'll want to set your white balance. Super important guys, before we make any changes, you're going to get the most out of your edit by setting a correct white balance. And we saw that there in the toolkit, very easy to do. Step two, you want to set your exposure because once again, when when you start adding different creative and necessary adjustments, you're going to see the best change when your white balance and exposure have been set properly. Step three, let's go ahead and have some fun, pretty preset style. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. Now this image has already been edited. Does anybody want to see the before? Ta-da! Beautiful soft pastel tones are just screaming at me in this image. I'm loving it. Okay, so we all know you want to see a start to finish edit and we're going to do that with this image here. This particular image had um, a lot of little adjustments, which I thought would be great so we can go in and really explore and dig in to the collection. The rest will just be super quick edits. So, okay, so of course, what are we going to do but start off with the white balance and exposure. To do that, I'm going to scroll down to the Pretty Portrait Toolkit and we're going to set the exposure to white balance auto and notice we have all these different options here virtually can fix any white balance issue that you've got going on loving it um okay so we're also going to up the exposure whoops a little bit further here plus 75 Okay, and let's go ahead and have some fun and add the preset uh, base, uh, vivid bright color, there we go, base number five, bam, look at all the gorgeous saturation that was just pumped into this image, it looks absolutely amazing already, um, but we're not going to do a before and after until we're done. Um, okay, so curve one, we're going to add, add a little bit of an S-curve pop, make it a little bit more punchy and contrasty. And let's scroll down just a little bit. We're going to add a split tone. Okay, with this particular image, let's go ahead and select silver lilac. Look at the beautiful warmth that was just added into the image. All of the presets are very soft and subtle and they're all stackable on top of the last. So um, that's what makes this set so amazing and wonderful and versatile when working with different sessions. Okay, so we're going to scroll back down to our portrait toolkit. And let's go ahead and add contrast plus 15 just to make it a little bit more punchy. And we're going to add a soft vignette as well. Soft vignette one. Bam. This is so much fun to play with. And I'm just going to keep going so you can see a little bit more of what this set can do. And of course, we have a few more images for you as well. Um, okay, so tone highlights soft, gorgeous, really soft in the image, tone shadows neutral, okay, we're just deepening it a little bit more, 
And let's go ahead and add some saturation plus 15. Bam, we are done, guys. Let's take a look at that before and after from dull, little bit lifeless, gorgeous image. We were just able to infuse it with a few presets and just build right on top of the last and make this gorgeous custom look. Okay, I know that you guys are ready for some more fun, so we're going to move on to image number two. And again, what are we going to start with but adjusting the white balance. So we're also going to use auto for this image, automatically it warms it up a bit. And let's go ahead and scroll back up here, and we're going to use the mixer. What this does is mixes um, some of the split tones and the overlays and the curves and the bases that you have up here. It's just automatically mixed into these fun uh, Fave 7 that we have included in the set. So we're going to use mixer number five. Okay, we're going to add an S curve with this image as well add a little bit more contrast and keep that going. Now we're gonna add a soft vignette, soft vignette one, which really finishes off this image nicely. And the last preset that we'll be adding is noise reduction plus 50. That really does a nice job of softening up the image and still keeping the details. Look at that, guys, before and after. And we're absolutely obsessed with how custom this collection is. Okay, so let's take a real quick look at this amazing black and white image. And of course, you guys know us, we are going to show you the before and after. Very nice, clean image straight out, straight out of camera. And after using one of our mixers, we got this gorgeous, this beautiful black and white edit. Okay, another before and after because we know you guys are just as obsessed as we are. Am I right? Okay, gorgeous. I'm loving it, but I know you guys are ready to dig in a little bit more with this collection. So let's go ahead and edit two more images super fast here for you guys. And what else are we going to do but scroll down to the toolkit and switch our white balance up a little bit. We're going to do auto, which automatically warms the image up. And next we're just going to brighten up the image a little bit and select exposure plus 50. One last adjustment which really ties this image in beautifully. We're just going to use base 3 pastel color. Bam! Did you see what that just did to the greens? Isn't that absolutely amazing? And here it is guys, before and after three simple clicks and I'm literally done. I cannot tell you how much fun that was and how much fun it is to see these images transformed with just a few simple clicks. And you guys know that you'll still have that creative control, which is always so, so important when you're a photographer and a creative artist. All right, guys, last image. Are you ready for it? Let's scroll down to the bottom of our toolkit, and we're going to use white balance auto again. Um, just keep that white balance really nice and clean. We're gonna up the exposure 25, and we're gonna scroll up and add a pretty mixer. We're gonna select fave six. Bam, that added some moodiness to this image and cooled it down a little bit. I'm really loving this look. And um, so we're just going to scroll down and use some more of the toolkit enhancers. Um, and we're going to tone the highlights here. And we're going to select tone highlight soft. And tone shadows neutral, deepen it up a little bit. And let's scroll up and we're going to take down the contrast to negative 20. And noise reduction plus 25. I love how that really does a good job with keeping the details in the image. Let's go ahead and play with the exposure just a little bit here. I still want to bring that up. And it's okay if you change your mind later on. You don't have to be stuck with the exposure that you picked previously. Just go back and pick what works well for your image. That's what's so beautiful about using presets is it's so 
um, forgiving and you can go back and make changes later on. Okay, so we're gonna keep that right around plus 50. And we're done, voila, before and after. I could even brighten that up a little bit more if I wanted, make it really nice and edgy. I'm loving it. So we are super excited to be bringing you guys this amazing collection that not only includes the clean edit portrait workflow, but you also get the pretty portrait toolkit and the clean edit brushes, which really just rounds out an amazing collection that you're going to have so much fun with. We're so happy to be bringing this to you guys, and we just know that you're going to have just as much fun using this collection, playing with this collection, um, as we did making it for you guys.